fine-tuning parameters for the white Christ iterated prisoner's dilemma strategy, a proven winner against gold standard strategies. To enhance the effectiveness of the white Christ strategy, I've carefully examined the following parameters. Unconditional initial cooperations, initialco oprounds. Setting the initial cooperations to two helps prevent defection loops, which can arise from an opponent's accidental defection due to noise at the start. This approach reflects the wisdom famously preached by Jesus, the true Christ, who advocated turning the other cheek, offering a second chance to foster peace. Interestingly, in Axelrod's first tournament, a strategy named Tit for Two Tats would have won surpassing the champion Tit for Tat, underscoring the value of two initial cooperative moves to maintain stability and prevent unnecessary retaliation cycles due to noise implemented in tournaments that aim to be more real lifelike than Axelrod's first two tournaments. Values higher than two could be overly optimistic, as by the second move, White Christ can already form a preliminary sense of the opponent's reliability, a sense that becomes clearer with more rounds. With two initial rounds of unconditional cooperation, White Christ achieves a balance, offering early trust without risking prolonged vulnerability. Trustworthiness threshold. Threshold. A threshold of 0.4 means that if the opponent defected in less than 40% of previous moves, White Christ will continue to cooperate if faced with a defection. My initial tuning pointed to 0.4 as an effective level, aligning with champion strategy, which factored in whether the opponent's cooperation rate was at least 60%. Champion's strategy, which achieved second place in Axelrod's second tournament, with Tit for Tat again emerging as the champion, demonstrated the effectiveness of this threshold as a significant benchmark. Weighting Factor Weight Factor The initial weighting factor of 2.5 seemed effective during quick tuning, though there is no exact recommendation for its ideal value as it depends heavily on the environment. I leave it to mathematicians and enthusiasts to explore which range might be most effective in computer tournaments. Generally, by choosing the weighting factor, you could find a sweet spot between stronger focus on the opponent's recent actions and a more balanced focus across past interactions. Personally, my interest lies in real-life applications where it's critical to pay attention to recent actions since people can indeed change for better or worse. I find it particularly intriguing to consider the ideal time frame for this focus, as real-life interactions naturally require adapting to each unique partner over time. In real life, we also possess a natural ability to intuitively adjust this focus according to the individual we're interacting with. I encourage everyone, not only philosophers, to reflect on the implications of this adaptation in their own lives. Etherly's strategy though it achieved only 14th place in Axelrod's second tournament, has shown its value in many of my tournaments conducted before White Christ's development. Initially, I planned to name White Christ Adaptive Etherly. Unlike other approaches, Etherly's strategy does not weight opponent actions but treats past and present moves with equal significance. In private tournaments I conducted, Etherly's strategy often emerged as the champion perhaps due to its ultra-high Eigenjesus rating. I once reviewed a morality metrics table where Etherly's strategy ranked at the very top, directly below the overly naive always cooperate. This made Etherly's strategy the most reasonable option with the highest Eigenjesus rating in that context. The strategy submitted by the scientist White for Axelrod's second tournament, which has performed remarkably in my simulations, used a logarithmic approach to weighting opponent moves, giving recent actions greater influence. I incorporated this concept gratefully into White Christ. Oscar Wilde once referred to a wise thinker as the beautiful White Christ, recognizing the figure's ethical vision. Many knowledgeable individuals have acknowledged that this wise man, who not only taught but lived this very 
white Christ strategy over a century ago, scientifically demonstrated the evolutionary strength of mutual aid. Unfortunately, his legacy and insights are largely ignored today, much as the success of the white Christ strategy, demonstrated so clearly in my research, remains unrecognized. For now, I am the only one reporting on its strength. Let's revive the legacy of the beautiful white Christ and ensure well-being for all, as he formulated as his aim achievable through mutual aid. Well-being for all, not just a few.